welcome to Social Bell. I'm Josh. And I'm Brad. And today we have a very special guest with us. We have Katie Tyson, Director of Digital Marketing at Fresh Pet. Uh, now, some of you may know Fresh Pet had a very viral commercial during the holiday season uh, that boasted over 8 million viewers on YouTube and even more on Facebook from what Katie actually just told us. You'll hear a little bit more about that later from her. Katie, glad to have you with us and uh, welcome to Social Bell. Yeah, happy to be here. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Of course. So what our viewers really want to know is how do they make a viral video like you do all the time. <laughs> all the time. Um, I mean, basically the way that I really think about how a video can go viral, there are a couple of principles that we've outlined. Um, the first one is that it's really, really important when you're coming up with the creative concept for the video to lead with something that's going on in culture that's really going to resonate with the people that you're trying to reach. So for example, the video that we did with the Apparently Kid, he had already had a lot of success. He was someone that um, America really had fallen in love with and the people we were trying to reach really loved. And so that made a ton of sense for us. And for the holiday feast, the video of dogs at the dinner table eating with hands had done incredibly well in the past. And so that was an idea that we thought we could do and we could do at a really grand, crazy scale, um, which we ended up doing. So it really was leading with that kind of cultural insight versus leading with your brand messaging, which is what you would do in a traditional ad. And then for us really, PR has been a tremendous part of making sure that the video gets the pickup and the traction it needs for virality. So as much as you can, just trying to get that video out there through third parties, through influencers, through the press, um, that's really what's made all the difference for us too, for the videos. And I mean, it just needs to be something that's fun and that people really want to share with their friends. Yeah, I think, you know, if people think that a viral video just happens, but like from what you said, it doesn't just happen. There's no. a lot that goes into Major really making factors. that video actually be viral. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So when you talk about some of the casting that you did, uh, you had the Apparently Kid, you had animals. How, number one, how hard was it to find animals that had human hands? I mean, that's crazy, <laughs> right? <laughs> <You know? laughs> that shoot actually was crazy to cast for. We ended up working with um, the Humane Society of Utah. And so most of the dogs and the cat that were in the video were adoptable and so that was really important to us because we wanted to make sure we were helping them out raising awareness for adopting pets too and it was definitely nerve-wracking knowing that you're going in with these animals that aren't necessarily trained but what we found was all of these dogs and cats were just so sweet they were so docile they were really amazing I was actually blown away by how great they were and that really speaks volumes to just shelter pets in general they are really amazing intelligent really calm great pets out there um, so that was cool but it was definitely nerve-wracking when we had them all at the table all together and they all had this delicious food in front of them and they have people with hands and arms sticking out I was <laughs> breathing like crazy you know trying to get through that because it was really stressful but but it went well, it went really well. So that was a big surprise. That's awesome. Yeah, tough shoot. Yeah. Well, I think the results speak for themselves, but it wasn't just a big hit on YouTube, it was a huge hit on Facebook, mm -hmm. which comes to our other question of paid versus organic. Did you find that you had to boost it a lot to really get the reach that you were looking for? Yeah. Or did it come because it was such an amazing video? Yeah, I mean, it was a really interesting learning for us and we were talking about this a little bit earlier, but we are a pretty small brand. We don't have huge budget. So for us, it's not really an option to put a ton of money behind a video, make sure it gets seen enough that then it will hopefully catch on. And so really, it's been amazing to learn for both of our videos. I wanna say it's been about 97% of our views have been organic. Um, we have put some small amounts of money that have really gone a long way in the beginning, but really we're talking about sub $10,000 each time and even less than that for the most recent. Um, but really it's been just the shareability of the video and again, the PR that has really driven that for us. Um, and we found, especially with Holiday Feast, that using Facebook's native video posting did incredibly well. I mean, the share rates were through the roof, as you guys saw, yeah. and um, the spend that we put behind it was so minimal. It, it was really quite amazing. We ended up with about 20 million views on that Facebook video, which was just unbelievable. Blew my mind. So let's let's take a step back, because we, we do have to talk about this a little bit. Can, can we talk about Apparently Kid? Because, <laughs> yes. I mean, he's personally one of my favorites, so. He's amazing. All right. All right. Yeah. 
Tell um, us about that experience, how, how you planned that one out, how that came to fruition. So that one was crazy. That was our first viral video that we've ever done. It was the first project we had agreed to. And so obviously as a team, we're a little bit uncomfortable with this idea in general. They come to us with the idea of the apparently kid who is a five-year-old crazy child. I, I mean, we absolutely loved him from the beginning, but it just seemed like, okay, do we know what we're getting into? And how are we gonna get this kid mm -hmm. to talk about fresh pet, fresh refrigerated dog food and make it make sense. Yep. And the craziest part about it was that this one was such a timely video. We were timing it with when he was gonna be on Ellen. So we basically got the idea about a week before we had to shoot it. We flew out to LA to shoot it while he was there for Ellen and then turned it around in 24 hours so that we could really get that breaking point. And so that was really, really nuts. Um, a lot of stress, but it ended up being amazing. I mean, he was so much fun to work with. I got to go on that shoot and I was so happy to spend time with him. Um, definitely like a crazy five-year-old kid. There were a lot of Minecraft breaks and stuff. But he did such a great job, and I mean, the, the crew was amazing. We played a lot of games with him and really like made him feel comfortable, and he loved being around the dogs. So for, from that perspective, it was awesome. That's great. Yeah, he's a really like just smart beyond his years, that kid. Nuts, but smart. Well, apparently <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it did. <laughs> for all of us at Social Bell, thank you, Katie, for joining yeah, us. Thank you guys and for having me. And don't forget to feed your pet fresh pet. Thanks. Thank you.